have some uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to my session. Um, uh, it's our uh, great honor to be here at the Kennedy Center. We are here to discuss the sector and our second company. And uh, I'm also a CCF ambassador and also come to the uh, CCF World Magic. Hello, everybody. My name is Tian Zhang. I'm from Huawei Cloud, and I'm also the maintainer of the Crystal Project. Today, we will talk about uh, how to deploy a uh, portal and the network on workloads on Kubernetes by the Crystal. So, a uh, light level model uh, is working very quickly, and uh, it affects our life and work. Uh, for me, as an example, I use uh, TensorFlow uh, on the open source side of model every day. To help to improve my English writing, to help me understand the code and help me write a simple uh, Python or Rust code. Uh, I can say that the most important uh, for native web and workload is the difference. Uh, however, uh, this time we ask uh, to see our line language model to perform some uh, some tasks, but we don't see the difference. Uh, however, there are several challenges. So the current Thank you. 
Hmm. The answer is Vanitis. Vanitis is not just an option, but the, the best choice for running large language model applications. Firstly, with Vanitis, you can easily package and deploy your large language applications and its dependence in the container, making the runtime anywhere in the cluster. Next, for resource allocation and scheduling, Vanitis lets you efficiently manage CPU, GPU, and MPU devices. You can schedule a post based on specific limits, requires, and the quality of service. Another great job feature is upscaling, which enables Kubernetes to automatically scale your development up or down based on demand. Observability is the key for monitoring. Kubernetes provides observability tools that allow to gather sensitive set up monitoring and the configure alarm. The service increase and the load balancing. Kubernetes simplifies access and flow control from the internet. This makes it easier to export your LLM application to external users while maintaining control over traffic and ensuring efficient load balancing. Lastly, Kubernetes supports re-release, which allows for a smooth transition. Kubernetes makes sure that upgrades can be rolled out appropriately, manage mining risk, and maintaining system stability during the upgrading. So basically, Kubernetes bring language language, uh, language model apps into Kubernetes and have them run as a workload. In, in this architecture, you can access all the hardware results like CPU, GPU, MPU, network, and storage that Kubernetes has offered. As we mentioned before, the family equivalent of dependency and the compatibility. Well, the main challenge is mostly integrate the assembly runtime into Kubernetes. This is what the container runtime should do. Luckily, Kubernetes and Kubernetes both are seeing the project as has got solutions for making this integration work. With the help of this talk, we can now explore new possibilities for creating cloud native AI applications. The feature is a low level sandbox container runtime that, that isolates container by sandbox, which has become a CNCF for sandbox project since the last year. Pixar has two modes sandboxer and a task. Sandboxer is for the large scope of sandbox, while the task is responsible for the container management. As it's shown in the picture, Kubernetes has to Kubernetes kind of by container runtime interface CRI. And Kubernetes has to create a sandbox by the newly featured sandbox API to run the underlying sandbox. Currently, there are four kinds of sandbox supported. The first one is micro VM sandbox like a cloud hypervisor, 
The second one is the application kernel sandbox like a quick container. And the third one is web assembly sandbox like what's made. The last one is new space and state group sandbox like run C. The last things we have was three main demonstrations to show the hotness well, to show the hotness from a larger language model application development to deployment. Basically, the developer compiles the large, large, language, large language model set from script to a web assembly binary, then packs it to stock image with the model and puts it to the registry. Next, deploy the LRM, po LRM pod on a GPU node or whatever node you want. And finally, attaching an ERP service make it, makes it easier to verify applications. Okay, let's start the demo. Yes. Let's move on to the first page. Currently, there's no code running. Let's show the deployment data file. We will use the image we just built. And eventually, the runtime text will be built into our model. This will lead to using the function at the run time. We want to have a state by state service running on the node. So let's go to deployment. And check the code table. Wait, the code is not running. I also have set up a load balancing story. It uses the traffic to the lower F. We cannot interact with the input server in code. Yeah, that is good. It has to consent for it to return the error that is totally right. Finally, we can start the code token as the container includes the return code URL. I'm going to add, what is the test value we see here? Thus, as you can see, the program is working perfectly. Using what's made and a quizzer, we can make cloud native large language model workloads more flexible, lightweight, and scalable. And all right, let's talk about our keynotes. If you like diving into more details, there are related topics today.